Well, Sarge, what a beautiful night. Yes, it is. Oh, what's up, guys? Such a boss here, and today I just finished up watching The Shining for the very first time. I am absolutely in love with the film. Um, I thought it was beautiful um, for what it did. This is another Stephen King adaptation, which was originally into a book. That you all know, Stephen King does books, and later on in the future, there's the movie. Recently, Doctor Sleep was released back in 2020, I believe, and I'm going to watch it tomorrow. Um, because I also have Hell in a Cell tomorrow. I'm really excited for that. Um, so guys, if you do not know what Doc, um, if you do not know what The Shining is, um, you're about to find out right now. The Shining is a movie where, um, a, a family who moves into a hotel, um, which is, it takes place with a mother, a son, and a father. Um, the father's name is Jack, or people call him Johnny. I call him Johnny in my video. I'm so sorry to the Shining fans out there. I know his name is Jack. Uh, Jack Nicholson, obviously. Um, we also have Danny. And we have this wonderful actor, um, actress, I mean, um, who plays a character named Wendy. Um, they all pretty much go to the uh, they go, they go to the Overlook Hotel, and that's where the movie so takes place. So the Overlook place. Hotel, everything goes haywire. What I mean by goes haywire... I mean, it goes cray cray. So what I mean by cray cray, it means the whole room, um, the whole hotel goes kind of like possessed in a way. First off, um, in the beginning of the movie, uh, also spoilers, I'm so sorry, um, Danny um, literally got this thing where he almost sounds like um, E.T. Um, mixed with Gizmo the Gremlin. Um, mixed with the Gremlin, obviously. Um, that's what his voice sounds like. It's like, red room, red, red room, red room. Sorry. <laughs> That's my best impression, I'm so sorry. Um, so Danny gets obsessed, so the doctor pretty much says, like, he's okay. Um, the doctor says he's gonna be okay, and I feel like that's a really cool and a strong aspect in the film. I really like that. Um, so you're gonna, so gonna close look at Danny's character really fast. I really appreciated um, Danny's character a lot. Um, this movie's not for kids, because it's rated R. This, um, I think you, kids can watch it. It's only one scene you should really watch is um, room number 237. Uh, that scene's iconic. Do not show, show it to your kids. Um, it's not appropriate. Uh, I closed my eyes during the whole scene. <laughs> it was just disgusting. If you've watched Ready Player One, it's probably the most appropriate adaptation. If you want to edit that in your film, please do it for the kids' audience, obviously. Um, I really appreciated um, Danny's character because oh. because he's a young kid, and I like how he explores all of the hotel. One of my favorite um, scenes he did is that when he like literally shouted like "Red Room, Red Room," almost like breadcrumb at first. <laughs> do, you, do you guys hear breadcrumb every time you hear that? Um, it's only like breadcrumb or dead mom. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. But also, Red Room, Red Rum, sp spelled backwards, is murder. Which I thought was a unique touch to the film right there. I didn't know that was big in the book. I had to read the book at some point, but I thought it was cool. I really like Danny's character. Um, now I was talking about um, the the mother, um, Wendy. Um, Wendy is a mother who's trying to fix her um, her husband's uh, possessiveness of this demon that he's in. He's saying, like, no work, I'll play. And I think that's really cool and very unique in the film. Um, I really like her mother aspect, protecting Danny in all circumstances. And she's just trying to be a good mother and a good wife, obviously. And the wife stuff comes in and wants to say, he says, checking her husband. The husband's kind of like anger and stuff. I just really like her character. My favorite scene by her it has to be her whole um, scene with the baseball bat and like her screaming was like, here's Johnny. I love her acting. Her acting is beautiful. I just love her like screaming. I, I think one of the scenes I heard was like she was not acting, I believe, something like that. And I thought it was really, really cool um, to see her not act like that. I think it's amazing what the characters um, can do in the show. Oh, one thing about the mother, the whole ending um, with her like going through the window, she almost got stuck. Her heart was literally racing. Like you actually like, hear like fear, and you actually you can actually see fear through her eyes. And you actually can feel pain, emotion. I was not really scared in it. The only thing I really got scared of was the big thump, thump, thump of the axe like hitting the door. And my doors are white. I wish I could write a murder, like, red rum on my, uh, on my, um, <laughs> bedroom. That'd be kind of full, cool. But if it, put it in front of a mirror, it says murder, which is really dark. It's a really nice movie. Uh, and let's talk about Jack Nicholson's character, a.k.a. the Joker, which I'm a huge Joker fan. I don't have anything Jack Nicholson yet in my collection, besides my mini Funko Pop. I might have to get the new Joker, um, Funko Pop from Batman 89. Um, or, or I get the Batwing. I got his minifigure. 
Um, I really appreciate Jack Nicholson's character because he, um, probably my favorite character because his whole, like, possessiveness, like, to the maze at the end of the movie, he was really cool. I like how he's, like, limping, um, it's kind of creepy when he actually died, which was really cool. I like how he, um, he kind of sees, like, all these ghosts and stuff, um, pretty much what The Shining is, is almost like you see illusions of different dead bodies, like the Greenish ones, for example, um, they're ghosts who haunt the hotel, obviously, and I think they're really cool, um. One last thing about um, that character, I really feel like yeah, I've, I really feel like Jack Nicholson did a really incredible job of his acting. I love how he's like screaming um, all the time. I like how he's like calm. The whole movie set up in different like time frames, which is really cool. Like Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and then you have like different like time zones, which is really cool. I really appreciated that aspect. Um, one last thing about the, all the characters, I feel like the whole uh, it's almost like an ensemble cast. I feel like they had really good chemistry together. And I really appreciated them. Also, Doctor Sleep is Danny's point of view of um, The Shining, obviously, which I can't wait to figure out what, the, what that's going to be about tomorrow. I can't wait to review it for you guys. I really appreciated The Shining for all for all what it did for me. I didn't even get scared. I feel like it's a classic. I love it. Um, it's such a really fun movie. It might be one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, Justin, Justin Scars, the YouTuber, did a filming location of the um, hotel. I actually kind of see who showed us shot by shot, and I know exactly what he's talking about. Um, about like the window cell scene. I, I know that is now. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I get a visit that in the future. I'm really, I'm really hoping to. And one last thing before I close out today's video of The Shining. I want to talk about the um, weird teddy bear at the end of the movie. Um, also, kind of the weird things about it. Um, some of the weird aspects you may not know about the film. Uh, there's also a little scene with a bunch of the blood in the elevator, which I like that. Um, there's a couple of weird characters down there, like the um, guy um, who was in the axe. I don't want to really spoil his story, uh, story arc. I think he's really cool. He's in there, but um, this is like a dead customer scene, and um, I think it's kind of weird. All the skeletons all in the one room is really cool. One scene was like, what the heck am I watching? It's one that's like this grown guy in a big prostate like teddy bear costumes like there and like his little bud sticking out I'm like what the heck is that thing anyone know leave in the comments I think it's really creepy looking number one that, that was the scariest thing I ever have seen in a movie um that's kind of weird I love all like the visuals of the movie um one thing I feel like they've been in this first GoPro seriously with like the whole little tricycle scene I really appreciated that uh, that's one thing I really want to do it at the end of the day, I really rate Uni, uh, not Uni, I really rate The Shining a 10 out of 10. Um, incredible acting, I love all the scene of the fear, I love um, all the time frames of the movie, I like how it's all a, a different story arc, and I like how all the things all possessive. Um, if you don't know um, too much about The Shining, I feel like you should read the book before watching this, because it might explain a little bit better of the characters and stuff. That's why I'm watching The Easter Eggs tomorrow, which is a 34 minute video, which I'm waking up tomorrow morning and watching that. And tomorrow night is eating in the cell. So, hopefully, you guys, you're looking to subscribe to the boss for more videos like this in the future. And also, um, thanks for watching. Um, I really, hopefully, you guys watched The Shining. I absolutely adored it. One of my favorite films of all time. I think C Stephen King did a really good job. My favorite Stephen King movie, like you all know, is It. My favorite adaptation of It. 2017, baby. Uh, so, The Shining is really cool. It might be my second favorite Stephen King adaptation. Then, Children of the Corn. I love all three. It's really hard to choose. It's my favorite by far. So guys, also my doors are white, which I'm kind of freaked out by. <laughs> oh man, I wish I don't, I don't have lipstick on me, so. Yeah, I'm a boy, I don't wear lipstick. But yeah, if I do drag, I will. Or if I'm on stage. <laughs> so thanks for watching, everybody. Um, good night. Bye.